I've had conversations with teams to find out who might move. I guess we can still hold out a hope that he's going to move down to a point where we might be able to jump up and get him. We know the first goal is going to come off after that. I think the, the run's going to start. In the second. Reichel's there. Do you like him? I like him a lot. Yeah. I mean, the question between Reichel and Gooley is just which is the higher value. Yeah, he can be a pillar. This is when your team of the future starts to take shape, and you'd be in the wrong business if you didn't get excited about that. Looking at the top 10, you know, I think there's pretty consensus who those guys are. I think after that, there's some uncertainty. We'll watch what happens really 1 through 12. And once we get to 12, I think it'll be pretty clear. If a player can slide up that we didn't have up there, uh, that pushes a player back toward us. Lucas Reichel, he's a really talented player. That's the first time I'd ever seen him was last year at the game against us. He was a player that we had been told, like, watch this kid. He was really talented I and mean, he was fast. And, and then as the year went on, I think his confidence grew and he became one of the top players. It was a pretty impressive progression for him and I think he's well on his way to being a great player. When we interviewed him, I think Mark even asked him a question like, How many minutes into that game until you had your first shift. I think I was well, I was in the starting six. Yeah. You were? Okay. Yeah. So who did you line up against? Do you remember? Yeah. I think Patrick Kane. He was right next to me and uh, I was like, oh my God, that's Kane. And yeah, it was nice play against him. It's starting to really, it has the same vibe. You know, once we sit down in our war room, I think it's gonna have the, it's gonna have the feel. Good evening, and welcome to the 2020 NHL Draft. Tonight and tomorrow, we are coming to you from the studios of the NHL Network and through over 100 virtual connections from club draft command centers and prospects living rooms throughout North America and the rest of the world. The first selection in the 2020 NHL draft belongs to the New York Rangers. With the first pick in the 2020 NHL draft, the New York Rangers are proud to select from the Ramuski Oceanic, Alexi Lafreniere. From Sudbury Wolves in the Ontario Hockey League, Quinton Byfield. Tim Stutzel. From Fralunda, Lucas Raymond. Really around 10 is when we got to start crossing our fingers. Yeah. The New Jersey Devils are proud to select from Jurgarden, right winger, Alexander Holtz. Jack Quinn. Marco Rossi. Cool. He said, if it's the goal, you'll have to sweeten. I said, what do you want? Tell me the price. I told him Winnipeg took Perfetti. We need three of those five to go off the board. Yeah, it's not going to happen. And this is exactly what we thought, right? right. From the Portland Winter Hawks, Seth Jarvis. We might get lucky here. With the 14th pick, Dylan Holloway. Holloway. That makes so much sense there. We're getting a little bit of help here. You know, Lundell and Holloway are helping us. We need another name. The 15th overall selection in this year's 2020 NHL draft. This is the key thing right here. This pick. From Ufa of the KHL, Rodion Amaroff. Beautiful. So what do you think? Uh, do you want a defenseman? Do you want the skill forward? I like the forward because I think there's an upside. His ceiling makes him a vital part of a top six. From the Western Hockey League, Prince Albert Raiders, Caden Gooley. We got him. I mean, we just played it right out. Yeah. 
yesterday, we said if we got him, we'd be really happy. Yeah. We played this thing out. Hey, Jamal. Nice to meet you. Have you been uh, practicing? Oh, yeah. It's not too hard to say, right? Since we built the United Center and even going back to the Chicago Stadium, we've always prided ourselves in not just being a destination, but actually being part of the neighborhood. Jamile in particular really intrigues us in what he's doing with the block, utilizing boxing and utilizing that facility to create opportunities for kids in the neighborhood. Give me a hard two. Now we got a two. If you're a kid on the west side of Chicago and I go say, hey, you want to join a mentoring and tutoring program? That answer is probably going to be no. But if I offer a boxing program to you, you're much more likely to accept the resources that we have. Let's go. Kids in our program, they go through an academic tutoring program. We provide extra resources and opportunities like college trips to young people. And it's all centered around the sport of boxing that brings them in from the start. Your hands are up. Your head is moving. We serve 120 kids a year. We have 100% high school graduation and college acceptance rates. We do everything that we can to use this sport as a springboard to help young people reach their full potential. The Blackhawks are, are doing everything they can to bring more awareness to our cause, bringing us to a, an entirely new audience that may not understand what's happening on the west side and, and how to help, but now we get to be a part of that solution on a broader scale. Get, get in there, get set. The opportunity to have him announce our pick it was a perfect chance for us to use this platform to shine that light on the work he's doing and share the story with people who may not otherwise know. <laughs> really? That's great. She's watching. Please welcome one of the inaugural One West Side grant recipients, Jamile Cannon. With the 17th pick in the 2020 NHL Draft, from Ice Bear in Berlin, the Chicago Blackhawks select Lucas Reichel. Yeah! 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 Hello, Lucas. It's Mark Kelly with the Chicago Blackhawks. How are you? We're very, very excited. Um, the last uh, 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes was pretty hard for us because we were looking at your name and we were just hoping that it was still going to be there when it was our turn. Hi, Lucas. Really impressed with your game and can't wait to get you over here uh, and make you Blackhawk. It was an unreal moment for me. Like uh, my whole family is here in the restaurant, and my whole team is here, and it was just an unreal moment. I can't believe it right now, and uh, it's uh, I enjoy the time, and uh, yeah. When you look at what he can bring to the table, I think it's a pretty exciting mixture of speed, skill, playmaking, and goal scoring and I think he can play a couple different ways so having that flexibility is something that is going to really bode well for himself and for our team as we look for new players and young players to step forward. In speaking with the people at Ice Baron, one of the things that they kept coming back and saying is that the older players on the team they wanted to play with him they asked to play with him and that's not a common thing for a young player. Just really his awareness of his surroundings and the other players on the ice, I think he's gonna be somebody that can play with a number of different players, whether they're high-end skill guys like Patrick Kane or someone like Jonathan Taves or Kirby Doc that you know have the, the bigger size and the power to their game. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Welcome to the team, man. That's sick. We're, we're happy to have you. Heard nothing but good things about you and looking forward to hanging out with you at camp and getting to know you as a person and hopefully uh, get out there together and play the line. It will be awesome. Thank you very much. It was like a year like no other. Hats off not only to Mark Kelly, but our whole staff. They put in a lot of extra hours compared to other years, but they did it with excitement. When we look back on this, this will be a draft like no other, but we came out of it really excited and optimistic for the players that joined the Blackhawks. The Chicago Blackhawks are proud to select from the U.S. National Development Team, 
Drew Camesso. Coming in, took the shot, great shot by Camesso. Landon Slager. And deep, Slager scores! Wyatt Kaiser. Defenseman, Michael Crudo. Isaac Phillips. For Phillips, quick shot, score! Chad Yetman. On for a one-timer, they score! Yetman with two! Louis Crevier. I think where we are right now, we've got a very bright future. We've got some really talented young players on the Blackhawks as we speak. We've got some more young players who are gonna be joining the ranks this year. And then this new crop that just came into the Blackhawks family, those are gonna be the names you're familiar with in the coming years and eventually end up here at the United Center in front of the fans helping our team win again. For me, it's a lot of excitement, anticipation for that and enjoying the process along the way.